Hello everyone and welcome back to my Road to Max series. Today we're finally unlocking the Hex, learning to do the phases and the weather fights on floor 7 in the dungeons, and meeting our first major milestone in this series. Now creating these videos take a lot of effort and time, both in content and in editing. So if you enjoy this content even the slightest, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. I'm setting a channel goal to attain the YouTuber rank in Hypixel, and achieving that relies on your support. Thanks for being a part of this adventure. Let's get right into it. I left a clip out last episode where I upgraded my farming fortune with Anita, and since we're on the subject of previous episodes, do you remember in episode four when I said, I got farming up to level 44 and crafted some items that will be important for later? Yeah, I crafted up four sets of melon armor and basically did everything from episode one through three again crafting the crappie armor, the squash armor, and the fermento armor, giving me a set of each top tier farming armor. Now selling all this armor will easily clear me over 200 million, and unpopular decision here, I donated it all to the museum instead, giving me access to the hex, something I know I'll need to make progressing on this account smoother. I spoke to the handler, and after opening the hex for the first time, I unlocked the achievement, gonna put a spell on you. And I'm gonna put a spell on you. Now, I enjoy that reference, so thanks, Hypixel. I spent a bit of time exploring the Hex, just to be left with a general sense of confusion. I'd have to start with the simple stuff before I got my head wrapped around it. Thankfully, it did not take long, as I put the No Pain No Gain enchantment on my leggings and decided to go train some Slayer, starting with zombies. I don't know when, but I got Zombie Slayer level 6 and unlocked a few things. But the most important to me was the Wand of Restoration. This put my Skyblock level from 124 to 125. I went back and crafted the Restoration Wand, which, when used, brings my healing from 70 per second to 120 per second. This is definitely a nod in the right direction. Now like any millennial with ADHD, I noticed that my cobblestone generator was a sore eye on my island and I just decided to remove it. Now eventually I'll remove this massive storage system and put it somewhere that actually looks good, but that day is, is not, yeah it's not today. You know what does sound good? Even better than aesthetics? Knowledge. Knowledge. I need the knowledge to get past the withers in floor 7 and actually complete it without being completely carried. I need someone who is willing to teach me this knowledge. knowledge. Thankfully, I have a friend that helped me get into Dungeoneering that is still more than willing to teach me how this is done. I've got you on the other side. We'll go over. Okay. There you go, you're good. Just do that with the other Christian. Okay, so I wasn't high and I didn't get high enough to get up there. What happened? Uh, you gotta stay in the lava. You need, you need to jump twice here. I'll keep him off here. Gotcha. So I gotta, like, get in the uh, lava stream. Use your wither cloak. Don't punch him. Use your wither cloak, though. Because if you punch him, you're gonna take knockback and shit. Got it. Yep. Oh, I missed the bonzo. Like <laughs> yep. No, he, you didn't miss your bonzo. He shot you while, right after you bonzo, resetting your momentum. That's, That's why gotcha. I said don't aggro him. You wanna, you wanna go down in the corner? It's right where I'm shooting. Like, right here? Yep. There you go. No, not that, that one block. The one right, one right in front of you. Plus, oh. yeah. you don't need to get onto the platform. You can reach it from off the platform, you know. Okay, I think he should be on me when he stopped shooting. Oh, no, or not. Okay, you got I it. Got it. got it. Nice. Now just jump on that little pad area and we're set. Okay, I'm now. Yep. You got it. Okay. Now that you know what you're doing. Can you, like, stop shooting me, please? Thank you. <laughs> I can do it now. Yep. I'm just gonna let you get the other one too for more practice. Yep. <laughs> there is other ones, but I couldn't actively shoot them from where I was, so. Oh, this is amazing, dude. Alright, and now let me... That's, that's nice. I still got overpowered by Storm's archers, but a revived stone came in clutch. We beat Storm, and I was able to learn about the different terminals and how they operate, all in a fluid progression of knowledge. With Goldor down, Necron was a simple part. Or so I thought, learning about one of his proximity mechanics. Necron went down, and I got my second catalyst as a reward. We went on to try Master Mode Floor 1, where I was humbled fairly quickly. Now after all this grinding, I decided that I needed to do something simple, take my focus off dungeons for a bit. There's a lot of skills to work towards, so I gave it some thought, and in the meantime, I saw that I had an excess of coins, and you know, a wise man once said, 
Empty pockets never held anyone back. Only empty heads and empty hearts can do that. So I went and bought each unique Sentry Cake so I can share my spoils with you. Each of these cakes gives you a two day buff to its own unique stat and every time you right click these cakes as long as you don't already have the buff active you get a chance to receive a cake soul. I haven't gotten one on my own yet but I suspect it'll be a while longer. Now I plan to make a portal hub on this island too so I can stop forcing people to pay homage to America when they visit my island or keep the hub and spawn because America! Yeah! I went to solo floor 7 and came across a bug I've never seen before. The watcher just froze, doing nothing and effectively soft locked this run, which brings me back to the garden. I bought Anita's farming level cap upgrade and that instantly brought me to farming level 52, also putting my skyblock to level 126. Now I spent the rest of my upgraded gold medals on the extra farming fortune upgrade and as I'm editing this, I realize that this specific upgrade is kind of where I messed up and the reason why this video's taken a while to make. But hey, it's all in the name of progression. Now, I went to Reddit and I did something people shouldn't normally do. I took a random Redditor's advice after reading his comments about my dialect and alluring alliterations I used in my last video and bought the Skymark brochures just to put bustling on my Fermento armor. Now, my recording software absolutely destroyed itself and only captured two hoes from the mathematical blueprints I bought, and I crafted all mathematical hoes, upgrading them to the highest tier I could and enchanting them for more farming fortune. I farmed pumpkins for a bit and sold two stacks of polished pumpkins to make up for the money spent on century cakes. It's just more wealth to figure out what to waste it on in the future at this point. I got Taming to level 42, then won a Jacobs contest in Wheat securing the gold medal. I got Taming 43 and a bit later I learned that unlocking more plots gave more bonus farming fortune. So I collected the compost I had been making in the background for this entire video and I was able to make 9 entire compost bundles which I traded in to unlock 5 more plots that would enable me to make some changes. Now there was a potato contest coming up and I'll need 10 gold medals, each in their own crop and right now I only have two. So I decided now is a perfect time for my brain to glitch and I knew I needed to put the turbo wheat enchantment on my wheat hoe for this contest. So I promptly put that turbo wheat 5 enchantment on my potato hoe, realizing what I had done. Then going back and spending 400,000 to put the enchantment correctly on the wheat hoe. I started the contest and realized my mistake. It was the potato contest, not wheat. Yeah, I don't, I, I can't tell you why my brain works like this, and I suspect it's autism glitching out in a spectacular way. I need gold collections to be able to upgrade my farming level to the max level of 60. Now, same people would have stopped at level 50, but this series isn't the road to limit, it's my road to max and I decided that I wanted to max my farming level. I knew I'd have to get more farming fortune and luckily for me, I have 942 little helpers. Each bug gives a plus five farming fortune buff for 30 minutes and I can trade up to 40 at a time with Philip giving me a plus 200 farming fortune buff. Now I hope this will be enough to help. It secured the gold medal in carrots, breaking my personal best by over 200 Thousand. Now I traded this in for farming level 53 and I served visitors and got over 24,000 copper That's a goal. I've been wanting to reach for a bit Now using that 24,000 copper I bought 16 green thumb books and combined them all together to make the green thumb 5 book and put it on my necklace Now I need to build a better cactus farm With the cocoa bean contest coming up, I traded in bugs again and got right into it, failing to get the gold medal, placing silver instead. My cocoa farm is fairly efficient, just not big enough to be perfect. I went to farm cactus, and somewhere along the line I got skyblock level 128. Thankfully a cactus contest was coming up, so I exchanged bugs again and easily secured the gold medal, getting a personal best of almost three times higher than my last. I caught the new bugs, served visitors, topped up the composter, 
and leveled to farming 54. It's time to try for the mushroom metal. I spent about a quarter of the time fixing the farm during the contest and still got gold. Good thing I won't need another mushroom farm until I inevitably go for platinum. Anyway, that got me to farming 55 and skyblock level 129. The next contest was the melon contest. Now I know from experience that a lot of people are in the melon business and trying to secure a gold is extremely difficult. This is where the Harvest Harbinger potion comes into play. I got the bug boost, drank the potion, and the game was on. I was farming as normal until I got a crazy rare proc on my melon dicer that bumped me into the Platinum League, shortly following with another crazy rare proc that bumped me into the Diamond League. Now, this was followed with an RNG proc that threw me leagues ahead of everyone else in the contest. I kept checking back in on the scoreboard to see what percentile that put me in, and for a short while, I wasn't in a percentile. I was number one. Now, I've never held a spot in diamond before this, so you're damn right I'm gonna give this my 100% attention being in first place. I kept at this knowing that if I got just one more crazy rare drop or an RNG drop, my spot in first would be secured. I tried, and I watched the chat, and I did the best I could, but it never came. But who cares? I ranked in diamond in the melon contest, with the top spot being only 16,000 melons ahead of me. Now I used this and I got farming level 56. I went back to my island and pulled some unpaid interns out and leveled them up, getting me to skyblock level 130 and then to 131. Now it's time to bug up for the cocoa bean contest. I took the gold home and then I ran into the problem. The issue. The reason this video is taking kind of forever to get out. I didn't have enough tickets for the upgrade. Now getting these tickets is all just a grind and it comes with a solid power creep. So let's keep going. I took my earned books and I made another Pesterminator 5 book and threw it in my backpack for now and saw the Netherwork contest coming up. I bugged up and secured the gold. With the Sugar Cane contest coming up next, I put the Turbo Cane 5 book on the hoe, bugged up only to get silver. Now as far as my factions experience goes, this is definitely the most compact sugarcane farm, but not the quickest by any means. I used the default sugarcane farm to make it better, but ran into the potato contest. I used the default sugarcane farm to make it a little bit better. I served visitors and I leveled my lotus gear to tier 11, bumping skyblock to level 132. I then spent 6,000 copper on composter upgrades and then another 1,000. The sugarcane contest was coming up and I absolutely missed the start of it, I was AFK. But with the new farm, I did secure the Platinum Medal. Now the only thing holding me back is the tickets. Through the magic of video editing, let me fast forward you six hours to where I sold the Enchanted Melons and bought these absolutely overpriced tickets. Getting my farming to 58, which boosted my Skyblock level to 133, I got farming 59, and then... Yep, I didn't have enough experience to hit level 60. An oversight I should have seen. Oh well, more never hurt anyone. I'm thinking that if we go back and serve our visitors, we will <laughs> we will get level 60. Yep, just like that. Now having finally maxed farming, let's see the spoils.
Oh my goodness. Well over a hundred million coins richer, I need to think on what to do with this money. Oh, hey, Editing Bloom here. I've uh, maxed out my bank, but there's a few things that I uh, definitely forgot. Yeah. God damn. We finally hit the max level 60, and we can check farming off our list for the road to max as the very first major milestone completed. With all that said, I'd like to thank you all for making it to the end of this video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe because these videos take a lot to make. I enjoy making content for you, and it's absolutely free to subscribe. With this out of the way, this is BloomTQ signing off, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I took my earned books and I made another pest, pest, how do you say that? Pest Terminator. I made...